Hi my friend, my name is Dan Hammer and I want to help you learn how to properly repair and nourish your endothelial cells to help you regain better control over your blood pressure. As we discussed in the last video, your endothelium and its ability to properly produce nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system, is critical to proper blood pressure control. To help you better understand why maintaining a normal blood pressure is so important to your health, I'd like to put the following statistics on the screen. 77% of Americans treated for a first stroke have blood pressures over 140 over 90. 69% of Americans who have a first heart attack have blood pressures over 140 over 90. 74% of Americans with congestive heart failure have blood pressures over 140 over 90. And 66% of Americans with diabetes have high blood pressure. As you can see, your blood pressure needs to be paid attention to. It's why it's so critically important to repair and nourish your endothelial cells so that they can properly produce nitric oxide to help regulate blood pressure, keep blood platelet cells from sticking together to form clots, and help to repair the endothelium to reverse and prevent plaque formations and calcification of the vascular walls. So let's talk nutrition, for it's key to nourishing your endothelium. To start, we need to understand how your endothelial cells use two natural amino acids to produce nitric oxide. Again, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. The first amino acid is L-citrulline. It's considered an essential amino acid. This means your body cannot produce it by itself. Thus, you need to get L-arginine from the foods you, consu you consume. As you can see by the PowerPoint slide, I've listed some common food sources on which to obtain this essential amino acid. Let me make a few general comments. Most research indicates that for you to receive a therapeutic benefit from L-arginine, you need to consume at least 5 grams of this amino acid at one time. So I selected 6 food items that I thought would be common food choices. I did the math conversions to look at how much food you would have to eat to take in 5 grams of L-arginine. I also looked at the number of calories and grams of fat it would bring into your body. As you can see by the slide, peanuts provides the smallest quantity of food, but they pack on 70 grams of fat and 918 calories. When you examine this slide, you can see that the three best choices are beans, tuna, or chicken breast. One can of beans, or two cans of tuna, or almost one pound of chicken are needed on a daily basis. This quantity of food is necessary to have a significant therapeutic effect on your endothelial cells and their ability to properly produce nitric oxide. The other amino acid is L-citrulline. There's not much of a choice in foods for this amino acid. Watermelon is your one and only good food choice. Unfortunately, 60% of the L-citrulline is contained in the rind portion of the watermelon, which most people never eat. You would have to eat over a pound of watermelon to get even close to the amount of L-citrulline your body would need for a therapeutic effect. When people realize how much food they need to eat and the limited menu they have to choose from, they begin to ask the question, is it better to get these critical amino acids through food or supplementation? Well, I stopped at a local health food store. Most carry L-arginine supplements, but L-citrulline is a little harder to find. To get a therapeutic effect from supplementation, you would typically need to take 10 capsules of L-arginine and 2 capsules of L-citrulline. Comparing costs between food and supplementation, your total daily food cost could range from $2.50 to $7, depending upon whether it's organic or processed food. Your supplement cost is usually around $2 or less. So supplementation costs you less, plus it doesn't have the added concern of fat grams and calories to your diet. Now I need to make one more important point about these two amino acids. When you bring in a therapeutic level of L-arginine, it typically results in a 30 minute to 2 hour window of improved nitric oxide production. When you combine your L-arginine with L-citrulline, 
you increase this therapeutic production of nitric oxide to 24 to 36 hours. This has huge health benefits in helping you to control your blood pressure and repairing the damage done to the endothelium so that it can become healthy instead of staying damaged and compromised in its function. This is so important that the 1998 Nobel laureate, Dr. Louis J. Ignario, had this to say in his 2005 bestseller, No More Heart Disease. Any supplement program that does not contain L-citrulline and antioxidants to augment the L-arginine, and most on the market do not, is missing out on a major piece of the potential of nitric oxide to improve your cardiovascular health. While L-arginine and L-citrulline are the two most important nutrients you need to pay attention to, Dr. Ignario also pointed out that antioxidants can also help augment the process. In his bestseller, No More Heart Disease, Dr. Ignario recommends the following nutrients. Vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin B9 or folic acid, and alpha-lipoic acid. While each of these nutrients have multiple health benefits, for the purpose of this video, we'll only address endothelial cell health. According to Dr. Ignario, both vitamin C and E improve endothelial function and can help to lower blood pressure readings. However, as a note of precaution, vitamin E has mild blood thinning properties, so you should talk with your physician if you're using some type of blood thinner. Folic acid is extremely important for cellular and cardiovascular health, and specific to your endothelial cells, it has two primary functions. First, it helps sustain the activity of your nitric oxide synthase enzymes. These enzymes are used by the endothelial cells to convert the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide. Second, there is another amino acid called homocysteine that can be a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Homocysteine appears to injure the endothelial cells. Folic acid, along with vitamins B6 and B12, can reduce homocysteine levels in the bloodstream to help protect the endothelial cells while also improving their function. Alpha-lipoic acid can help the body to recycle vitamin C and E for antioxidant benefits. Plus, it can also improve the stability and duration of nitric oxide. Life Extension, one of the leaders in nutrition information and products, also recommends three primary nutrients as natural weapons against high blood pressure. They are casein peptide, or C12 peptide, grape seed extract, pomegranate extract. While the casein peptide is not recommended for people with dairy product allergies, grape seed and pomegranate extract seem to be well tolerated by all population groups. In a recent study, grape seed extract helped to inhibit the production of a protein associated with endothelial cell dysfunction and mortality while promoting the dilation of blood vessels. And pomegranate extract seems to help the endothelium properly balance the vasoconstricting and vasodilating biochemicals used to help regulate blood pressure. Two recent vitamins have also been making it into the new cycle based on solid scientific research. They are vitamin D3 and vitamin K. When properly combined, these two vitamins help to keep calcium in your bones and properly regulate calcium in your bloodstream. Proper calcium levels are needed for optimal endothelial cell health in the creation of nitric oxide because calcium starts the chemical reaction of converting the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide. The best way to help you understand this would be to think of a light switch. If you walk into a dark room, you flip the light switch to turn on the lights. Calcium is the light switch that turns on nitric oxide synthase enzymes to create nitric oxide. As we have discussed in this video, there is a lot that you can do to naturally repair and nourish your endothelial cells to help them properly produce nitric oxide. 
the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system and a key ingredient to helping you control your blood pressure. In our next video, I'm going to show you a product called Peroxine Plus. This product incorporates many of these natural ingredients into a formulation that has been clinically proven to repair and nourish the endothelium for improved nitric oxide production. If you have any questions about this information or need to contact me, then please either email me or call me directly. My contact information is listed on the screen. Or contact the person who turned you on to this video series. We're part of a team whose mission is to save a million lives. Thank you, and I'll see you in the final video as I share with you how you can combine many of these natural ingredients into a cost-effective delivery system that can help you see improvements to your endothelium and its ability to properly produce nitric oxide for improved blood pressure.